Hi, thanks so much for joining me today for Midday Prayers. My name is Karen and I am one of the wardens at St. John's and I'm really glad that you've joined us uh, today for Midday Prayers. Um, I am recording these in advance and um, so feel free along the way to pause uh, if there's time when you need more space uh, than is included in our recordings. Um, and uh, I'm glad we're, we get to be together today. As always at St. John's, we want to acknowledge that we live and work and worship and play on the lands of the Lekwungen speaking people, now known as the Songhees and Esquimalt nations, and we are so very grateful for their stewardship of these lands. Um, while I wasn't raised here, these are the lands that have become home for me, and they're the lands uh, where I figured out who I was, and so um, I am grateful uh, for their stewardship and grateful for the privilege to live here. As, uh, as we begin, uh, you are welcome, uh, if you'd like, to pull up uh, the prayers that we're going to be using. We are going to use the ones from the Northumbria community. And uh, if you just search Northumbria community and morning prayer, you will find them quite quickly and easily. So let's pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek God in God's temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek God with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek God with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek God with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek God with all your strength? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and, have, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. As is normal with the Northumbria prayers, community prayers, we have uh, three short scripture readings today. Uh, the first one is from Psalm 26, verses 1 and 2. Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity and have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Prove me, O Lord, and try me. Test my heart and mind. And then from Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 21. Set up road markers for yourself. Make yourself signposts. Consider well the highway, the road by which you went. Return, O virgin Israel, return to these your cities. And then from Mark chapter 1, verses 16 to 18. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, follow me and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. I don't know about you, but that passage from Jeremiah is, is certainly sitting with me as we keep in mind and keep in our prayers everything that is happening in Palestine um, and the uh, the horror that is happening there and um, the years of conflict and um, innocent people uh, being harmed and uh, so much trauma and pain being caused. And uh, for me, that will certainly be one of the things that I keep uh, in mind when we pray today, as we pray today. So the meditation today is a poem by William Broderick. 
Once you have heard a child cry out to heaven for help and go unanswered, nothing's ever the same again. Nothing. Even God changes. But there is a healing hand at work that cannot be deflected from its purpose. I just can't make sense of it other than to cry. Those tears are part of what it is to be a monk. Out there in the world, it can be very cold. It seems to be about luck, good and bad, and the distribution is absurd. We have to be candles, burning between hope and despair, faith and doubt, life and death, all the opposites. So we're going to use uh, the canticle um, as our time for prayer together. Um, and, uh, and as I've often done, uh, we're going to pray it through the first time and, and give us that time uh, to pray for the things that we need as uh, individually um, and to bring the things that are on our hearts uh, for our you know, for whatever is going on in your world, whether it's work things or family things or health things or who knows, uh, the things that you need. And uh, so we're going to pray that uh, through the canticle that way. And then we'll pause uh, and bring um, a whole bunch of other people and situations uh, to mind as well uh, before we pray it through a second time. So let's pray. Or more accurately, let's continue in prayer because this, all of this is an act of prayer and worship. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me. Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield. Christ beside me, on my left and my right. I invite you to take a moment and bring to mind uh, the people and the situations uh, that are most on your heart, where you know uh, that light is needed, whatever that light might look like whether it's healing or comfort or finding a path to peace. I invite you to take a moment and, and bring those things to mind if you want to pause because you need uh, some time to do that, and to sit with those things. Uh, feel free to do that. We'll still be here. Um, there are so many things in our world that are broken and hurting and uh, or the systems that have been used to oppress and um, and to cause harm are just it feels like it feels like it it's just it's overwhelming so let's sit with that for a moment and with those the people that are on our hearts and then we'll pray through the canticle again, asking uh, for those same things in all of those situations that we've brought to mind. Christ as a light, illumine and guide us. Christ as a shield, overshadow us, Christ under us, Christ over us, 
Christ beside us on our left and our right. This day be within and without each one of us, lowly and meek, yet all powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom we speak and in the mouth of each who speaks unto us. This day be within and without each one of us, lowly and meek, yet all powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside us on our left and our right. Thank you, God, that even when we don't know what to pray, you already know. And that even when we can't see you and it is dark, you are there in ways that we might not understand, but we still trust and believe that you are there. As we go, let us bless one another. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with, you, with us, wherever God may send us. May God guide us through the wilderness and protect us through the storm. May God bring you home rejoicing at the wonders God has shown us. May God bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for joining with me. Um, I hope this has been a moment of uh, peace in the midst of your day and, um, and hopefully also a moment of comfort. I know it feels that way to me, uh, and so I hope it does to you as well. Thanks. Bye.